Deformations is composed of two sequences which bookend the lyrical section in the centre. This next poem, An Interview with a Keeper, is taken from the first sequence, which relates to the letter cutter, sculptor and visual artist Eric Gill. When we talk about Gill generally, we talk about his preeminence as an artist, but also that we know that he sexually abused his children. Often, when we talk about artists who have led less than immaculate lives, we consider whether life and art can be held in any kind of balance in our perception. This poem considers more how it feels to create or conserve or to own or simply to look at a piece of art with that in mind. We spoke at length about the beast, how in the world he would have been destroyed by predators, alternatively might have starved, become susceptible to small infections, open wounds in his fine hide. Truly, the maker of this beast is a genius. He burned so bright on the fields and in the valleys. If it is possible to say of a beast, he had imagination, he had vitality. Even in his cage, he is proud. There are no shortage of admirers. But, says his keeper, I can't help looking into the flaming depths. I glance in, then away. I bring him food, but I can hardly bear to look him in the face. Behold him, then shrivel, shrivel, stretch, and weep. Look and look away. This is the pattern of my guardianship. I turn my pictures to the wall. I have no mirrors. I talk into the night about my Janus neck, supporting two heads, two sets of eyes, my conjoined sensibilities, the heavy key of the cage. Sometimes, I continued, I feel that I am the beast and I am confined. Sometimes, I finished, I feel the sea spray of spittle on my neck as I shovel and it is me spitting. <laughs>